Hey, this is Pastor Dave. This is your Monday Mojo. Hope you had a great weekend and a great Father's Day. So once again, we got our old pal Bailey here with us today because Bailey has a lesson for us. Now, Bailey is a standard poodle. Um, means he's of the largest size of a poodle. And uh, it also means he's among the smartest breeds there is. Poodles are the, one of the brightest dogs there are. But that doesn't help us in this particular situation. About a year and a half ago, middle of the night, storm comes through, Bailey does something he'd never done before. He got afraid. And he tried to cram his great big body into a little coffee table, a little bedside table underneath it. Try to hide. Then he tried to get underneath the bed, tried to get underneath the couch. Scared to death of the storm. Well, as you can imagine, last Friday night when it stormed all night long, Laura had a long night with Mr. Bailey. And this morning at four o'clock when I got up, I got to sit with him as he panted and worried and tried to get underneath the couch. Now, the vet says that probably what has happened is as he has gotten older, his sight has diminished. So he is less sure about himself. And because he's less sure about himself, when the storm comes through, it scares him. And he doesn't know what to do. And he starts doing things that he wouldn't normally do. Now, he's a very smart dog. But when fear kicks in, he behaves in ways that aren't very smart. You know, I think there's a lesson for us here. <laughs> you know, we can go through life and feel pretty comfortable about our own ability to negotiate things, about our own abilities and our own skills. But somewhere along the line, something happens where one of our abilities or one of our skills, or one of our senses, gets tested and, and it doesn't turn out the way we thought it would and we're not as sure as we used to be and, and then a storm of life comes along and we find ourselves afraid. We find ourselves trying to cram ourselves into a place to hide, to make ourselves small so that we can get away from the storm of life. I don't, I don't think it's any coincidence that Jesus just keeps saying, that the Bible just keeps saying, that the Old Testament, the New Testament, the God, the angels, the prophets, so many people in the Bible say these words, don't be afraid. Because when we live in fear, we begin to act in ways that are irrational. They don't make sense. You know, in his great ballad, Bella Wood, Garth Brooks penned this line out. I heard him sing it again this weekend as we were driving. He said, heaven is not just beyond the clouds. Heaven is just beyond our fear. Just beyond our fear. Jesus said that he's inviting us to live in the kingdom of heaven. And he didn't mean someplace that we'd go to eventually. He means right now. However, when we live in fear, we don't live there. One other point. When Bailey lives in fear, it affects those who love him. Uh, we lose sleep. Um, we try to do things to calm him down, say, it's okay, buddy, there's no need to worry. You don't need to be afraid. You ever had that situation with somebody that you love? God is saying to us, you don't need to be afraid. And so here's a question I would ask, and, and this will kind of get to the heart of the matter with us. If, if Jesus were to show up and sit down right now, right here on this bench next to me, would I be more afraid, frightened of what was going to happen, or would I be more at peace and welcome? I think it's a good question to ask ourselves. Because if we live in fear, we're not living in the kingdom. Anyway, that's your lesson for Mr. Bailey. Hope it was helpful to you. Have a great week.